I love this question, so I'm going to answer it first. Um, <laughs> how many of you know the people that you're sitting next to right now? Okay, raise your hand if you're, sorry, reverse. Raise your hand if you're sitting next to someone you don't know. Cool. Um, so as soon as we're done here, talk to the person next to you about what they do, why they're here, what they're looking for, like where they want to go in their life. And that's networking, right? I always tell people it's not about collecting business cards. It's not about like saying, oh man, I met the CEO of this, or you know, I met Cliffy B, or I met this person or this person. It's not about finding these people who are super high up. It's about making friends, right? And, and all of us have known each other for years. Um, I mean, I met, I met Rusty because he came back um, to show off a project and he interviewed me and we just like became friends. Albert and I Did met- Did he hire you though? Uh, that's a different story. Um, El Albert, <laughs> I, Albert and I met, met at GDC and, and quickly found out we were both full soil students. And so, you know, it, it's just about making friends, right? If you go into it thinking, hey, I want to hear this person's story, um, as opposed to, hey, I want to impress this person, you're going to impress that person. They're going to create a connection. And then years later, years later, they, they might hire you. They might help you find a job. Or they might, while talking to you, say, hey, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to mentor you or I'd love to you know, look at your resume or help you out here. I mean, that happened to me. My first GDC, um, I, I, my favorite game of all time is Deus Ex, and I always wanted to meet Warren Spector. And, um, and I went to the first, the, my first GDC, I was eight, 18 years old, I was still here at Full Sail. And I went to, I did research on where Warren was gonna be based on like his schedule. And I saw that he was gonna be at this education summit all day because he was speaking sometime in the afternoon. So I went there and I sat in the back and I was like, Warren Spector is gonna be here, like mentally prepare yourself, you're gonna talk to this guy. And I'm like running through like in my brain, like here's what I'm gonna do, here's what I'm gonna do, here's what I'm gonna do. And I looked next to me and Warren Spector sitting next to me and I go, Shit. Okay. Um, um, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm like, hi, Warren. My name's Grant Chonkweiler. Uh, I'm a student at Full Sail, and and I want to make games because of the games that you make. And he was like, cool. Okay. And we started talking, and like an hour later, he's like, you know, here's my email. Here's my phone number. Let's let's talk. Let's let me help you through this journey. And Warren and I have been friends for ten years now. And like, I'm friends with Warren Spector. And if you don't know who Warren Spector is, please. Go find out who he is. The, guy's, the guy is a god. <laughs> that's networking. Does anybody want to add? What was the exact question? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Grant. <laughs> Just what are your suggestions for how they might begin that process of networking? Networking, okay. I'm going to think about that. Oh, well, I'll expand <laughs> on online networking is another thing, right? So if you can't in-person network with people, online networking is huge. So again, we're talking about blogs. We're talking about things like that. Um, Gama Sutra, again, great example. Uh, Polygon, anything like where you see devs writing, go read it. I usually wait a couple weeks and then I'll email them a very specific question like, hey, I read your blog and you, you talk, we're talking about this technical detail. You know, I've run into the same problem, blah, blah, blah. Here's my question. And I've, I've created relationships that way, right? So if you can't get to a GDC or a, a, an E3 or a DICE or one of those things, there are ways to network online. Um, and this is also where I you know, pitch my uh, YouTube channel where I talk about networking and, and things like that. So if you Google my name, plus YouTube, you'll find it. Um, I was going to say the mod community is a great place to network too, and it's also a great place to get experience. Uh, when I worked at 2015 on Medal of Honor, my first game, um, <laughs> I would say out of the 20, actually out of the 22 of us that formed Infinity Ward from that company, I would say probably 15 came, the, came from the mod community. Um, so if there's a game that you like that has tools released, like Skyrim, GTA, if you're an artist or making models, animations, um, you know, because I hear a lot of people are like, oh, I've got this, I'm going to make this like GTA game on, you know, on the side by myself with a friend. It's like, you're not going to make an entire GTA game. <laughs> like, you know, and you have to kind of work with something that already exists. So work with uh, an existing game you like, start making mods for it, and you can show that off to potential employers. How many, how many of you guys have worked with someone you met at Full Sail? Because Full Sail is like one of the best networking things. I mean, I've... Lots of them. <laughs> well, you, you all work together, so I guess... Yeah. But I, I did at my very first job. Yeah, I did too. I, I hired two of my classmates, you know? Uh, so this is a great, incredible networking opportunity. You know, you have other things like the IGDA and Game Dev Drink Up, other ways to meet developers outside, but like start here. Start making friends here. Start 
all of you who raise your hand, seriously, as soon as we're done here, talk to the person next to you because that person may be the person that you start a company with and change the world. I think, uh, you know, like Grant said, it's about making friends. Like that's what real networking is. Um, even if early on you're kind of looking for particular connections because, you know, of, of a path, you know, if it's a particular company you're wanting to find yourself in, then of course you might start catering your networking towards trying to find people who are there or, or who know people there, and that's fine. But it is about friendship, so take advantage of the social aspects, things like Twitter, which is fairly active in the game uh, industry. And, but think of it as you have this opportunity, right, to follow anybody, and you can learn stuff about them based on their posts. And in a way, that's a way for you, to, it's one-sided at that point, but you can start to have build up sort of like a mental map of some things that that person is interested in. And then when you feel appropriate and you feel confident enough, you can reply back with a targeted question, whether it's on Twitter, direct message, whatever. And, but it shows you can be insightful at that point, right? Because you're not just blasting something out randomly. You're like, oh, I know this person uh, is interested in this thing or has tweeted about this a lot, so I'm gonna try to engage in conversation. They may reply back, they may not. But again, you're building up some information about people and that's gonna be valuable whether that becomes an actual connection and a friendship um, or just it's a practice that you're going through and you're getting used to learning things about people being genuinely interested in people's opinions and things like that. That will help you start to get more comfortable with networking, so that's a good avenue. And of course there's lots of social avenues, but Twitter is one of the um, uh, easiest because of the nature of how Twitter works and you don't necessarily have to have that two-way friendship connection like on something like Facebook or uh, LinkedIn is also complicated in certain ways, but you know, there's all these avenues, so take advantage of them, but not just to see who you can connect with, but about learning how to do it better. If, you, if you follow Rusty, you'll find he's the large, the biggest Google fanboy in the world, so <laughs> this is a fact. there you go, nice. <laughs> free tip. <laughs> and another thing, and I know as students, as young people, or a lot of us are introverts because we're like content creators, right? It's, it's networking for us, is like, oh, it's so hard. But just remember, these other people are just the same. They want to meet you, they want to meet more people. So when you come up to them like a normal person, you know, don't be super fanboy, don't be an asshole. These people will respond kindly and like, hey, you know, and have a normal conversation. And really, that's all it is. There's no magic sauce of like, you know, mm -hmm. you have to do 100 hours of training to do networking. You just <laughs> be, a, be a nice person and talk. And, and here's a little tip that I've I've used to, uh, I guess, talk to people that I'm a little shy to talk to. Um, everyone, you know, m almost everyone's going to approach us and just talk about games, right? Yeah. But if you know something else that these other people are interested in, like an, another hobby, and you have the hobby in common, talk to them about that. Because they're going to be like, oh, cool, you like something I like, right? Is uh, For instance, I met um, maybe three years ago at Oculus Connect One. Um, I was standing around, and I see John Carmack, uh, sitting down, like, kind of near me, and I'm, I go to talk to him, but I don't ask him about games or programming. I'm like, hey, are you still training jiu-jitsu? Because I knew that he trained Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and was a blue belt, and that's something I've been doing for many years, too. And so I, we just started talking about jiu-jitsu and how jiu-jitsu is, like, you know, the best uh, martial art for programmers. It's very about problem solving. <laughs> um, we didn't even talk about coding or, or games at all, but it, he was kind of just, like, kind of caught off guard at first with like, oh, this is cool. I don't get to talk about this much. And that was something unique because all day everyone's coming to him talking about coding, engines, and everything. And it's just kind of a nice, mm. oh, this is something different. And uh, it's a way to actually establish a friendship or a relationship with someone else uh, in a, a less than typical way that they usually are approached. He also does judo, which I do. So yeah. and I think like, judo is better. For yeah, no, judo is better. Like, can you guys fight? Yeah, we're <laughs> it could actually. Like, this, wait this until just, after the pain. All of dog head simulations were all like trained in, in deadly <laughs> arts. Oh, you can fight after Elbert gets inducted. We'll let him have his moment. Oh, first. <laughs> you heard here first. <laughs> Cage fight. All of fame made rumble. <laughs> so. No, I, I would, Jitsu is cool, but I'm, I'm kind of bummed that you weren't talking to him about aerospace engineering. I was really hoping that you launched <laughs> I think launched he probably rockets. gets that a lot, too. I mean, but there's not a lot of, like, programmers that are like, oh, I'm into jujitsu, so I thought it was <laughs> yeah, cool. approach. I, I worked with John for three years, and the longest conversation I ever had with him was at a Christmas party. For two and a half hours, we sat in a corner and talked about rocketry. And he was like, I mean, honestly, I don't think he, he, I was his producer and I'm not really sure he knew who I was before that moment. <laughs> and I was just like, let's talk about space. And he's like, oh, 
And I'm like, so we just talked about space for two hours. It was, it was one of the greatest moments of my life. Well, to, to tie together two things that have already been said as an actual example, um, one of the times I was back at, at Full Sail and was meeting with students, um, I met a student who, you know, we connected say, uh, on social networks and kept in, you know, some contact. And then the uh, question came about one time of um, thinking of getting a new Android phone. And as Grant said, I'm very into uh, Google products and I've always been a big fan. And, and I was like, oh, absolutely, like information overload, you know. <laughs> so, like, we talked for a long time and, and became good friends as a result of uh, what started out as, you know, a, just a general, like, kind of social um, networking kind of atmosphere, but then because of interest and understanding interest and shared interest, that became a friendship. And that was all just, just kind of happened, right? And, but it took initiative, it took getting that first connection, but then by understanding the person you're gonna talk to, it just makes it so easy to start up a conversation which is completely unrelated to networking, completely unrelated to job search, and then you find a lot of common ground and, and you can have a lot of good conversations out of it.